It's only your love and something But why does it feel like it's true or something? We just vibe and we just crazy, baby Hi YouTube, it is Cray Lisa Victoria In this video I am going to be showing you guys How I make my um, late night smoothie um, Like right now I am super, 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 super hungry and um, I don't want to eat too heavy because one, um, I'm not that hungry. I'm hungry, but not hungry for hefty food. Two, um, it's late and I need to make sure that I get in my nutrients and all my good stuff in my body. So this video is going to be showing you guys how I make a late night smoothie. Um, I am using my phone because my camera's dead right now. Um, Guys, well, while I'm actually making this video, I'll show you guys that I have my healthy smoothie book. I did not use any recipes out of here for tonight. Um, I'm just showing you guys that I do keep this in the kitchen in case I need something like super, super like um, on point with everything, you know, in the smoothie that I need. Tonight I'm making a basic smoothie. I have already cut um, and my hands are clean. I just washed them, but I've already sectioned off my strawberries I cut them up so you can see the pieces I cut those will be off to the side I cut up one banana um, that has to be about seven strawberries and then I cut a half of apple and that is like a honey I never say it, say it right but the honeysuckle or honey I don't even know if it's suckle at the end I just know it's like the honey honey crisp type of apple um, I did half of that just because you know it's already berry so it's already gonna have a sweet taste so I don't have regular milk. I don't normally keep that in my refrigerator. I use almond milk. So this is what I'm going to actually pour into my smoothie. Now this maker makes enough for a cup. So this is how I prepare it. So guys, bear with me because I'm holding the camera with one hand and I'm also trying to make sure I put all of my fruits into here. So I'm just gonna just grab fruit, start throwing them in there. I'll start with my bananas since these are like, well, I'll start with the apples because you know these are the tougher ones. When I flip over the bottle, they won't want the will want the softer fruit to be up top. So I'm gonna throw in my strawberries. And I'm so excited about this. Nice little and smoothies fill me up. And they're great anti. Uh, there's like antioxidants and stuff in here. I think I'm out of blackberries, if I'm not mistaken. I think I used all those in my smoothie yesterday. So my fruit go pretty quickly because if I'm not eating bananas with Cheerios or just eating a fruit as a secondary option to um, like a light snack or breakfast, then I'm gonna eat that part of the apple. Then this is pretty much something I'm gonna. That I normally do so now that I've put all my fruit in here you can see I am going to lean back real quick with my now I'm going to pour a little um, I like to throw in my ice so I'm gonna pour some ice into here whoops I got some ice cubes to pick up some of them landed down here close to the plate, so we'll put those in there. And then, and mind you guys, my, I just I just cleaned this whole area, so all clean here. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of milk. You guys can see. I like to, there we go. I don't like to put a lot of milk, just a little. I'm gonna close this up really good. You saw I put the blade inside because that's what's gonna mix it all up, the concoction. I'm gonna have to put this in my hand real quick because I need to make sure this is screwed on tight or my berries are going flying. So now that I got this on, everything secure is not coming out. I'm gonna put it up here. I have it already plugged in. And I love this blender because all I have to do is hold it and <laughs> For 
the sake of the video, I just went ahead and unplugged it. Normally, just because I'm holding the camera in my hand, but normally it takes, I have to like twist that out to come out. Um, but I couldn't do it with two hands while it was going. It would have been a disaster. So now that it is out, this is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna open it. And I'm gonna take my mason jar. And I put a little almond milk and ice just to give it a chill. Sometimes when I want to drink these right out, I have to do that. So look how good that looks. Oh my gosh. And then typically I go into my straw bin. Oh yeah. If I can reach. Only if I could reach. And I grab a straw, stick it in, and amazing, real fresh. Everything about that is just me. So, guys, I'm going to enjoy my smoothie and I'm going to eat my last boiled egg that I have in the refrigerator. Pre made this week, organic, with a lot of uh, vitamin um, D, B12, E. B2, B5, all that is in that egg. So I'm gonna eat me an egg, I'm gonna have me protein. If I feel like I want a little bit more, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna eat the rest of my, well, I haven't even eaten it today, but my salad. So this might be dinner or it might just be smoothie, egg, and that's it. We shall see. And I'll probably make a green smoothie in the morning and call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Gives it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys go ahead and click the subscribe button. Tell your friends about my channel. Um, and if you want to be notified every time I post a video, then make sure you guys go ahead and click that bell on the screen. Sorry guys, I'm still putting things up. But until next time, thank you guys so much. And make sure you go make your smoothie. Tell me what you think. Alrighty. It's only a little something, but why does it feel like it's true something?